and there's some pry marks that don't match up. All she said because she didn't want her daughter to know her father committed suicide. Really that nature. No, I did not touch anything. I had nothing to do with whatever happened in there. Did you murder your husband, Greg? No, I did not. Are you, in fact, factually guilty of that offense? No, I'm not. So, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> number one two six six eight four six D says we the jury find the defendant Michelle Marie Williams guilty. Deceptive beginnings. Let's dive into the roller coaster with Michelle Williams. Imagine a small Texas town where Michelle grew up, but her childhood wasn't your typical story. It was like a drama series mixed with a thriller. Michelle's mom split, leaving her and her sister with their dad, who had a knack for playing tricks on insurance companies. Can you believe it? Michelle watched all this growing up. She quickly learned how to manipulate people, especially men, with her charm. By 15, she was already juggling multiple love interests. Michelle's first marriage was a masterclass in deception. She told her 16-year-old boyfriend that she was pregnant, a move straight out of the playbook for trapping someone into a commitment. But here's the kicker, the baby wasn't even his. Michelle had a talent for weaving lies seamlessly into her life creating a tangled web of deceit that ensnared those around her. It's a testament to her manipulative skills and the lengths she would go to in order to get what she wanted. Michelle's ability to spin elaborate lies without batting an eye is nothing short of sneaky genius, showcasing the depths of her deceptive nature. Fast forward to her next relationship with Brandon. They tied the knot after some messy divorce drama, but Michelle couldn't keep her hands clean. She started stealing from Brandon, and when he found out, it was game over. But wait, there's more. Michelle's life was a roller coaster of deceit and manipulation. She even faked a robbery. And that's just the start. Michelle's story is a whirlwind of scandals and schemes. Strap in because this true crime tale is packed with twists you won't see coming. Marital Betrayals Uncovered Imagine living in a soap opera with more twists than a pretzel factory. After her whirlwind teenage romances, Michelle thought she found stability with Brandon. They had the perfect suburban life, or so it seemed, but underneath the facade, things were brewing. Michelle's schemes knew no bounds. She took her deception to new heights by bringing home dental equipment and pretending it was for work. But Brandon, her husband, wasn't fooled. He smelled something fishy, and it wasn't just because of her shady dealings with cash. Brandon caught her red-handed stealing, exposing Michelle's web of lies and deceit. Michelle Williams told Keller dispatchers an intruder killed her husband, Gregory Williams. The canine from Bedford out to uh, see if there was uh, any scent of an intruder, him uh, dead, and then she uh, proceeded to clean up some things. Hitting herself in the face with a wrench, then she cleaned her husband's hands and the gun. And there's some pry marks that don't match up. All she said because she didn't want her daughter to know her father committed suicide. It was a moment of reckoning, as Brandon's suspicions turned into undeniable proof of Michelle's deceptive ways. This incident further unraveled the facade Michelle had carefully crafted, revealing the true extent of her manipulative nature. Then came the twist, Michelle's secret rendezvous with other men. Brandon, understandably furious, demanded a divorce. And you won't believe how Michelle got back at him. She sabotaged his beloved saltwater aquarium, slaying all the fish and even worse, his dog Domino. It's like a scene from a revenge movie gone horribly wrong. The twists and turns in Michelle's story seem never ending. It's like a roller coaster of deception and manipulation. Here's another jaw dropping revelation Michelle's first child wasn't even Brandon's, it was from a fling back in high school. To add to the drama, she forced Kenneth, her ex, to believe that the child was his, trapping him into a marriage he never saw coming. It's a shocking example of how far Michelle was willing to go to maintain her facade of lies and deceit. The Everything Michelle don't add up. You had nothing to do with it. You didn't try to cover up the scene or anything of that nature. No, I did not touch anything. I had nothing to do with whatever happened in there. Or something. So you need to you need to tell me. If he self inflicted it, you need to tell me. We're getting wits in. You've got to be honest with Michelle. If he if he did it, you covered it up, just tell me. This revelation paints a clearer picture of her manipulative nature and the length she would go to in order to get what she wanted. It's just another layer of deception in Michelle's tangled web of secrets. Next up, she moves in with John, the real father of her first child, 
but that relationship goes up in flames too. Surprise, surprise, Michelle was cheating on John as well. She just couldn't stay faithful if her life depended on it. Then enters Greg Williams, the man who seemed to have it all, money, success, and a loving family. Michelle marries him, they have kids, and everything looks picture perfect. But beneath the surface, Michelle's greed knows no bounds. She hatches a plan to cash in on Greg's life insurance policy, but her scheme backfires spectacularly when she's caught. This trial is a whirlwind of accusations, tears, and shocking revelations. Michelle's own sons testify against her, detailing her attempts to frame Greg's ex-wife for his slaying. It's like a Shakespearean tragedy, except this one ends with Michelle sentenced to 60 years in prison. And you covered it up, or there's potential that you may have been involved. I did not hurt my head. Okay. Okay. There was a man in my house. All I have is what I have. That's all I can say. One of the two things will happen. So. Fatal insurance fraud. All right, let's dive into the nail-biting saga of fatal insurance fraud, starring none other than Michelle Williams, the mastermind behind a scheme that turned deadly. Michelle's living the suburban dream with Greg Williams, a successful businessman. They've got money, a happy family, the whole thing. But Michelle, always hungry for more, sees an opportunity in Greg's life insurance policy. But here's where it gets spicy. Michelle cooks up a plan straight out of a crime novel. She sedates Greg with sleeping pills, then ends his life, making it look like a robbery gone wrong. As investigators delve deeper into Michelle's case, they uncovered a web of shady dealings. Michelle had attempted to cash in on Greg's life insurance policy, hoping to walk away with a hefty sum of cash. However, the insurance company was quick to catch on and smelled something fishy. They denied her claim, sending shockwaves through Michelle's carefully laid plans. It was a major plot twist that exposed Michelle's greed and deceitful intentions. The failed attempt to cash in on the insurance policy added another layer of evidence against her, further solidifying the case against her. As the trial unfolds, the courtroom is buzzing with drama. Michelle's defense team tries to paint her as a grieving widow, but the evidence speaks volumes. Autopsy reports, toxicology exams, you name it, everything points to Michelle's guilt. Witnesses testify, including Michelle's own sons who reveal her attempt to frame Greg's ex-wife for the crime. It's like a real-life courtroom drama with twists and turns at every corner. In the end, justice prevails, and Michelle is sentenced to a whopping 60 years in prison. The judge doesn't buy her sob story, and neither do we. Did you murder your husband, Greg? No, I did not. I have my assumptions, and that person is letting me sit here. How long do you think you will spend in prison? A couple of years. Are you, in fact, factually guilty of that offense? No, I'm not. Michelle Williams shot Greg as he was laying in bed. Legal battles, guilty verdict. Michelle's tangled web of deception finally catches up with her, and she finds herself in the hot seat facing a barrage of charges. From tampering with evidence to making false statements, her laundry list of legal woes is longer than a CVS receipt. The prosecution paints a vivid picture of Michelle's calculated moves to cash in on her husband's life insurance policy. They lay out the evidence like puzzle pieces, showing how Michelle carefully orchestrated the crime scene to cover her tracks. Witness after witness took the stand, each revealing shocking details about Michelle's manipulative tactics. Her own sons bravely testified against her, shedding light on her desperate attempt to frame someone else for the crime. Their testimony painted a vivid picture of Michelle's deceitful web, showing how she would stop at nothing to cover her tracks and avoid accountability. It was a heartbreaking moment as her own flesh and blood exposed her lies, revealing the depth of her betrayal and the extent of her deception. The courtroom was gripped by their testimony, and their courage in speaking the truth stood as a testament to the unraveling of Michelle's carefully crafted facade. The courtroom is buzzing with tension as the jury deliberates. Will Michelle's acting skills and charm sway them, or will justice prevail? In a dramatic climax, the jury delivers the verdict, guilty on all counts. The judge slams down the gavel, and Michelle's fate is sealed. She's sentenced to a lengthy prison term, ending her reign of deceit and betrayal. Sentencing and Imprisonment This part of the story is like the closing chapter in a gripping true crime novel. 
After a lengthy legal battle and a guilty verdict on multiple charges, Michelle faced the daunting moment of sentencing. The courtroom was tense as the judge laid down the law. With a solemn voice, the judge announced Michelle's fate, a staggering 60 years behind bars. The courtroom gasped and Michelle's facade of innocence crumbled. It was the end of the line for her deceitful ways. As Michelle's sentencing sank in, she walked out of the courtroom under the weight of her 60-year sentence, leaving behind a trail of shattered lives and broken trust. Laying back in his bed, and she picked up his gun and took dead aim at his head. This is not something she had time to think about. She panicked. Mr. Presiding Juror, it is my understanding the jury has reached a verdict. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. House number 1266846D says we, the jury, find the defendant, Michelle Marie Williams, guilty. The heavy doors of the prison closed behind her with a resounding finality, marking the beginning of her new life as an inmate. Inside the stark confines of the prison walls, Michelle faced the stark reality of her actions. Each passing day served as a stark reminder of the consequences of her deceitful schemes, a far cry from the life of luxury and deception she once led. Inside the walls of the prison, Michelle faced the harsh reality of her actions. No more manipulation, no more schemes, just the cold, hard truth of her crimes. Days turned into months and months turned into years as Michelle served her sentence. But even behind bars, her story didn't fade into obscurity. Michelle's tale of deception and betrayal continued to captivate the public, serving as a cautionary tale of the consequences of greed and dishonesty. For Michelle, each day was a reminder of the price she paid for her crimes. The once charming manipulator was now just another inmate serving time for her sins. It is a sobering reminder that justice may be delayed, but it eventually catches up with those who break the law. It's a tale of redemption and consequences, showing that no one is above the reach of the legal system. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.